hi guys welcome back to my channel um i'm going to be inspired today by mj at my paper journey she created a beautiful little envelope um i don't know what you call it it goes across two pages an envelope on one side an envelope on the other and it can attach to the side of your journal like a little tab um you know like you'd have in a, a ring binder and you divide sections it i can't explain it but it was beautiful and i'm going to link her her video down below now what she did if i show you the pieces of paper is she created a w and um then she got another piece of paper and put this on the top to create an envelope this side and an envelope that side and because there's a gap in the middle it can go across two pages okay i as you can probably see had trouble to get the ink sorry the glue in the right place so that i could stick that flap on so i've been playing around with huge numbers of um <laughs> prototypes some worked some didn't but i can still reuse the paper and make them properly um to create one in one piece of paper so i'm going to show you what i've come up with see what you think and um yeah craft along the first thing you need is a strip of 12 inch paper from a 12 inch paper pack. I'm just going to get rid of that sun for you guys because otherwise you're not going to be able to see. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I've got my 12 by 12 piece and the first thing I'm going to do is create the depth of my envelope. Okay, and because I've got quite a thick card I'm just going to use my bone folder to create a nice crease. Now we need to create the flap. So I'm gonna leave a little tiny gap there so that I can fold my flap over. And I'm just gonna bend this piece of paper, leaving that teeny tiny gap there. And I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it backwards to create the flap of my envelope. I'm just going to make sure that's nice and straight and I'm going to fold it behind and as you can see there is my first envelope I'm going to open that back up again and leave that there and now I'm going to do the opposite end of the paper so same thing again fold it up okay and then we're going to leave that little gap and to fold it there see I've left the little gap there fold it back up to create your envelope flap make sure that's nice and straight and not wibbly like my one it's better and then fold behind and there we've got our next little envelope okay I'm going to open that back up again now you've got an envelope at each end obviously the envelope needs to end up like that but at the moment I've unfolded that last fold and I've got them nice and flat now the next thing that I'm going to do, and I have to think which way I'm going to do this. Yeah, so I want to take the two ends and I'm going to fold them together and create a fold in the centre, like so. Open it back up. There we go. Now, I'm just going to move my envelopes together. Now, this part here will be the part that goes across your, um, your page. So what we need to do here is we need to fold this up like so on that side up to the halfway mark that we folded and to fold this up that way and then what that does is it creates this W in the center and that's what we want because we're going to attach this little part with a paper clip to create that part to go across our books. I hope that makes sense. Now I've yet to be able, because I'm silly, <laughs> to be able to create exactly the same length of envelope, but I have done it a couple of times, but a lot of the time I end up with one slightly bigger than the other, but you can measure if you want to. So before you do your folds, you could measure it all, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'll just show you that one more time. So you're laying it flat, you fold in the center, the two envelopes together oh hang on sorry guys it's very fiddly so we fold into the center like so and then you're going to open them back up again and this is when you're going to push together and create your center 
M or W, whichever way you want to look at it. I'm just going to show you how I glue it, and then we'll do another one because I know it's um, a bit complicated, all the folding. So let's just open this back up again. So the first thing we're going to do is fold down oops, our sides of our envelope without making too much of a mess. Okay, like so. I'm just using the art glitter glue for that. And then this part that's our flap is obviously doubled over, so we want to glue that. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to glue the two pieces of the flap together like so and then that should be my envelope done like so and at this point um, before you glue together you could put a little hole in there you know like a little thumb notch so that's the first one done same on this side and to just run the glue along the edge and glue that down and then there's my flap and I want to glue in here Oops, so my flap goes together, my double flap becomes a single flap, like so. Hope I'm all on camera for this guys, I really do hope I haven't strayed. And there you can see you've already got um, a single nice flap for that one. Now if we put these together, as I say I've, never, I've not quite got it right that I have the same size envelope. This part here is the part that we can use with our paper clip so I'm just going to open that bit up and I'm just going to put a little notch in here that we can put our paper clip in let's just grab one now let's make sure we've got it the right way so now depending on how you want this to sit um, I'll show you what I mean by that. So I ended up with one paper clip that was on the outside, but I had to glue together a lot of flaps and the actual little envelope became quite thick. Um, and that attached like so on the edge, like a proper tab, really. And then I was playing around with another one and I embedded the um, paper clip so that when we put it on the side, you get this effect. Oops, sorry, I'm a bit close to the camera. You get it like that it still sticks out but it's just um a little i don't know it's you just can't see any of the paper clip okay so depending on what you want to do i'm going to embed one here it will depend on which it, how you put the paper clip in and this is just trial and error really that's all i did so i could put the paper clip in this end like so let's pop that in hang on let's make sure i've got a big enough hole so I could put it in this end and it could go like that or alternatively I can embed it this way Let's make sure I get it the right way around okay and have it go on like that where you can't see the paper clip does that make sense I hope so um, it's entirely up to you how you, how you do it okay they, I think someone could fiddle around with it a bit more and kind of have it the way they want it you could also move this down fold that another way I don't know really no that's not gonna work ignore that <laughs> I think that's probably the best way I'm just trying to see if I've got the same thing on this one yeah look it's um, pretty much the same and I just put the paper clip um, through there like so that was the way that I did it before I think where my V hang on let's see yeah my V is the other way on this one so I think that's what I did differently. I think I just, quit. there you go, I just created that V. My V here is gonna to be too big. So I guess I should have done slightly deeper envelopes. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's about playing around with it. I haven't quite perfected it yet, but obviously this one, where I did deeper envelopes, I ended up with a smaller V. So I was able to hide the paper clip. This one, I've kind of done dinky envelopes. So it may be actually that this one is better served um, this way, which I think I will do. But where if you do slightly bigger envelopes, you end up with a smaller V and you're able to kind of embed that paper clip. I hope that makes sense anyway. So this one will probably be better that way and just um, put onto the side. What I've done when I do it this way, so when it's not, you can see the paper clip, is I use some double-sided tape 
we'll try and make another one in a second so that you can see what I mean I hope I'm making sense guys it makes sense in my head but that means nothing <laughs> oh, no. okay there's a lot going on in that brain of mine none of it good <laughs> oh no okay so we'll take that off and then normally oh there goes Jessie again tiny terror and I'm just gonna glue that together and then yes this will be a type of envelope that sits on the outside like a tab okay and then you could and I think I will I'm going to glue down the envelope to this part here so that that doesn't move and then the same on this side I'm just going to glue down the back of the envelope to that that WRM whichever way you want to call it like so and then I've got my envelope on each side the issue with this would be that you haven't got it the same way as MJ shown which is kind of that the page is this side and it's hidden yeah not sure about that can you see that I'm just doing a process with you today I think this is the better one this is more like what MJ created which is to have it embedded there you go and then you've got one envelope on one side and on the opposite side of the page you've got the other envelope so let's see if we can make another one of those because I prefer those to this one I'm not quite sure you know whether I'd use that one right let's try let's try let's try okay back with another piece of paper this time slightly deeper envelope let's see what did I do let's measure this time and see whoops sorry guys so this time I did it uh, that's just over an inch and a half so an inch and one two three four five five eighths or in metric that's four centimeters so I'll probably go four centimeters because that's how we kind of work in the UK rather than inches I find inches quite tricky because I was never taught inches it was always the metric system right so there we go so I've got four centimeters that way I'm going to do the same over here let's make sure I've got um my ruler sorry guys I'm measuring like billio and you can't even see me do it I'm being silly there right so four centimeters I've measured four centimeters on both sides approximately just bring that one down a little bit okay that's good right now that seems a bit bit deep but we, we'll go with it so now I want to again create my little flaps come up might not have as deep a flap this time I don't think and round that's one this one again same thing folding with a little gap there coming up I'm not going to do as deep a flap and fold over all right so open them back up again fold in half is that the right way or oh, I hope so fold in half uh, and then let's see hang on oh no that's it oh okay so that's a bit different if you just fold it in half you've already got your flap this is the way to do it guys slightly bigger envelope try and line those up a little bit better with my bone folder yeah I like the measuring I like the slightly larger envelope that works really well so that's what we want to do and then then we can make um, the mark in there and that will be a fully embedded um, paper clip oh yay we did it we did it okay so it's because you guys were with me you're good luck right let's put that down oh before I do that I'm just going to grab I am going to put a tiny little hole just in there a little thumb notch like so and I'm going to glue that down perfect okay that's that side same here I'll do another little thumb notch in the top there so we can put something in it And I'm going to glue and put that down. Okay, let's press. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. I'm loving that. Now, all I need to do is glue down these double flaps because we don't want those springing up, do we? So let's quickly glue that down. like so 
and we'll glue this one down while we're at it like so there we go I think we solved it then I think you need to have a slightly bigger envelope and then it will end up being we're having a hidden paper clip which I love so that's that's the key and then you only have to fold it in half once excellent okay I hope you understand my process here guys I hope it's not too all over the place so let's open that up I'm going to create a little notch for my paper clip oh oh there we go I thought my, my um, scissors were a bit dodgy then okay and then that end would go in there because we want this bit to go onto our paper so I'm just going to put it in that way and then turn it oh might be a bit big actually oh I've torn it oh goodness okay that's fine we can cope we can cope with it look I've torn the paper oh dear dopey all right that wasn't so good <laughs> all right that's fine have we still got room to put it on let's see how much no not really right I have to just kind of go with it because I've boo-booed it right piece of tape double-sided tape over the top of the paper clip we'll pull that off okay. if I can oh come on you know you want to there we go okay so and then we'll glue this down you really are my good luck charms guys because I was struggling with that oh let's get rid of that and we pop that down let that dry and then there we go I might have mucked it up slightly here but the paper clip is quite secure and now let's see if we can find I need a book don't I or a piece of paper hang on let's grab one of these CD cases so now when we put it onto the edge of our page make sure I've got it on yay there you go it's like a little tab and we can put something in here so something really teeny tiny like um a little tab like a little um you know tag like that could go into there i have to probably strengthen that one because that's just paper but there we go i'm wondering as well like if you were really clever oh i'm getting really excited now i'm wondering if we, we could create one of those little pockets oh i'm getting so excited i'm trying to think i need a hole punch and i haven't got a hole punch oh fooey I'm just thinking that if you created a tiny little circle there and there, you could run some twine around it. That would be amazing. I would love that. I just need to find something to do it with. See, I told you I'm off the cuff today. Just turn the camera on and off we go. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm getting really excited now. Right. I have in this box, whoops, dropping everything again, some of these little white... I only want a few out. Bear with me. It's a bit stiff. Oh, it just fell off. <laughs> Hardly worth it. Oh, goodness. Right, like, I have these. Now, I'm wondering if we put one in there, we could run, and not do it too deeply, we could run some twine around. I need a bradle. Oh, I love it when a plan starts to come together. It's lovely, isn't it? When you suddenly think of something. Okay, so I'm going to make a hole just there on that side and a hole just here, excuse my hands in the way, and then I've just scattered my, um, well that was good, look I just bent one, <laughs> oh dear, crafting disaster 101, oh dearie me, right let's take one of these, so I'm going to pop this through but I'm not going to make sure, I'm going to just leave a little gap underneath it, like so. And then we can do another one, probably, we won't be able to do one there, but I'm wondering whether I could glue something and wrap round. I'm going to think about that. So, and then the same with this side. i put a little brad in there like so and again I'm not going to put it all the way I'm not going to have it a bit loose like so sorry guys I'm off camera again do apologize 
So these are a little bit loose so that we could put a little bit of twine behind them. And I'm just going to see if I've got somewhere here. I'm thinking that Ocas Journal's French, um, French linen thread would probably work really well. I'm just going to search for it guys, bear with me. Yep, so I'm back. So I've got some of um, Oak House Journal's um, beautiful French linen thread. It's lovely. And I'm just going to snip off a small amount there. Okay, because we only need a tiny amount. And then I need to think of a way of putting something here. Because stupidly, I could have put another one of these brads in there and round it wound, round, but I didn't. Let's see if I can open it up again. I don't want to tear it, no, I'm not going to be able to do that, but certainly I would have done that there and that there, but I need to think of something else now because I've made a boo-boo. Um, okay, let me think, what could we put there? I'm wondering if a small pearl or something might be worth doing. Um, I need a teeny tiny one though, so what have we got? Just having a look in my gems and see if I've got anything that could um, just secure that down. I do like bling as you well know so you know it could be that bling is required at this point this is quite a flat gem I think that one might be okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some gem tack now you could use other glue for this gem tacks always so runny on me but it does work really well and it's a bit sticky let's just take out the gunk that's in the bottle oh dear Okay, I'm going to use some gem tack. I'll be right back. Right, I have gem tack all over my fingers, but we're okay. <laughs> so, I've got a little gem and I've got my um, my little piece of uh, French linen thread. So hopefully this comes out. Nope, it's going to get stuck again. I thought I'd cleared it. Sorry, guys. Oh. Okay the nozzle in the hope that that all comes out <clears throat> right here we go so let's see just want the tiniest bit come on nope stuck again guys I'm so sorry about this but this is really on the cuff crafting oh it might help if I didn't have a great big um piece of uh, silver foil stopping the glue from coming out <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get this out. This is real crafting, people. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Oh goodness, we, you won't believe what I'm pulling. Look at this great big piece of glue that was stuck in. <laughs> oh man, that's not good. Right, apart from the fact that I'm covered in glue, we can now do it, okay. Fantastic. So just a tiny blob of gem tack is all that's needed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of thread into that glue, like so. It's very fiddly. <laughs> I'm going to grab some tweezers actually. <clears throat> so we're going to grab that tight. I've lost my diamond now. Yeah. let's grab another one I don't know where it went you probably do you're probably like it's there stupid woman it's on your desk okay and I'm just going to move that thread over and place that gem there and we're going to leave that I'm just going to make sure it's right opposite there we go and I'm going to leave that to dry for a second and I'll be right back with you hi guys so where that's dry and I've come back I've made another one and I've just, over this side, I've just put um, my little brad in there and I've wound round and round and round and made that really tight around the uh, linen thread all the way. And the same on this side, I'm about to make this nice and tight if it will go, like so. And I'm going to grab a piece of linen thread again. Dum -ba -dum. Just here. Okay. 
going slightly longer than I probably need just so that I can make sure I've got everything I want so I've not even put it together yet so I've immediately done the hole let's loosen that slightly until I'm ready to put that in let's just make sure these are okay lovely so again I'm just taking my thread right then welcome back so what I've done is I've left that one to dry and then I've made another but this time before I put it together I've put two little brads on there and then using the French linen I've just round it, wound it round and round and round and made sure it's really tight at the back because you want this to be as tight as possible because you don't want anything that you put into it um, to catch so that part is done so I'm quite happy with that and then I'm going to quickly glue down uh, my flaps because they are going to need gluing because they're double Very good art way to glue, thank you for not getting clogged. <laughs> okay, so we've done that. Sorry, there we go, off camera. Um, so there, I've done my flap, and now I need to just glue down this bit. But first, I'm gonna, again, take my, um, my book, and I'm gonna put my bridle into that part there. Oop, let me just make sure I know where I'm going. Yeah. Oh goodness, excuse my dogs, they're having a little moody today. I have no idea why. And you want to kind of line up where you want that to go. I'm gonna put a hole through there. Okay, so I've just made the other little hole and put the other bradle in. Sorry, I had to do that off camera. Dogs barking like Billio. And then we should be able to close this up Whoop. now what I don't want to do is make sure I go the same way and that that's level okay let's see if this yep yeah, that will work we'll just get it round a couple of times to close that and then I'm just going to snip there okay so that's that's that one and then on this side, we've got to do our gluing again. Let me move you up slightly so you can see what I'm up to. I'm probably going to have to apologize several times when I see this camera angles, these camera angles. I bet they're awful, but uh, still learning guys. Um, let's just make sure I've got this right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I've just glued the completely the wrong piece, haven't I? Whoops, that's okay. Hang on. Dum, dum, dum. Oh no, yeah, I have. Wrong piece. Right, let's just make sure we glue the right bit now with the correct glue. Okay. That's better. Right, let's just fold that up and create a flap on this side. Oh, and I haven't put the hole in. Oh, fooey. That's okay. Let's fold it down and I'll make the hole right now. Let's make sure. There we go. That's fine. We've glued it, but that's okay. There we go. It's a bit off centre, but I'm alright with that. It's prototype. So again, another little brad in here. A little bit off centre there, but never mind. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to have that one a little bit loose. So that again, we can get that thread behind it. And if it isn't loose enough, I can loosen it at the back a little bit. So push that through and then down, that's it. Lovely, that's better. Oop. Still getting caught this one. There we go, that's better. That's better, now we've got it. that side's a bit there we go not bad at all okay so again once I think I've wound it enough I'm just going to snip that piece off okay there we go <laughs> very pleased with that last step now I'm gonna try and create a better slit this time so that I don't have uh, too many problems with my, sorry guys, too many problems with my paper clip. 
I'm struggling so much with this filming stand. It's crazy. Right, um, okay, so we want to have this bit stuck through here. I'm gonna open that up, grab some tape. Pop that along there. Got covered in glue. <laughs> there we go. And then a um, bit more art glitter glue. Just go around. Okay. I'm gonna fold that up like so. Again, still haven't quite got my envelopes level, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Work in progress. And there you have it. I love that, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, I really like that. So let me grab again, I need a piece of paper or a book. Okay, let's use this one. So I'll grab this book here that I used to uh, punch my holes. And all we do is put this, see if it'll catch nicely for me. Are you going to catch or do I have to fiddle with you? No, you're gonna catch for me. So there you go, so there is your tag envelope so it goes that side and that side and we've even got a little closure on it i really like that i just have to remember which way i've wound it <laughs> i think it's that way yeah that's the only thing i guess is um i probably wound it a little bit too much but i wanted to make sure it closed there we go oh i need to do the sides obviously to make that into an envelope and I need to do my little holes let's do that now my little uh, thumb pieces let's really finish this one off because I think this is the one this is the one that I'm going to make lots of now there we go and the same on this side let's see if you will open and which way you went I think I did both of them clockwise which is uh, there we go well easy very easy to remember sorry about all the banging with fingers and thumbs that's it and then now we want to glue down our sides to create our envelope like so and the opposite side okay like so and there we have it I'm just going to take my thread and wind it round clockwise a couple of times. It may get caught a little, you know, it might be better with a tiny, tiny button or something like that. I'm not sure. Entirely up to you how you do it. I've just got these brads and they've been hanging around for ages, so I thought, right, let's just try and use them. But, you know, I think if I show you the other one in a second, I think that will have worked just as well. So there we have it. And then that will go on the edge of the page and create a little tab for your journal but also two little envelopes like so i love that that's so cute right let's take a look at this one and see how this one's doing i think the glue is dry gem tack tends to dry really quickly i think this one might need loosening slightly but yeah that's that's worked as well i just need to loosen this brad a little i think because it's a bit tight and um the same with this one this one seems to have worked. That brad's nice and loose, so that one's quite a good one to play with. Yeah, that's better. Just make sure that if you use brads, they're nice and loose because you can get your thread right the way around them then. Like so. I can just cut that off. There we go. And that's another one. Again, will fit on the edge of your page and um, create two little tiny envelopes on each side. I hope you've enjoyed that guys as you can see it's a process I'm not kind of giving you a finished video and I hope you enjoyed that because that's how you know we all start you know crafting but um, yeah I'm really pleased with the way they've turned out after lots of prototypes that is the way to do it I think and I think I've got the hang of the fold in so make sure that you've got at least a four centimeter um, deep envelope because that is about right or four and a half and then the same the other end and that should give you the um the small center with which to put your paper clip on so that the paper clip's hidden i really hope you've enjoyed that guys mj thank you very much for being my inspiration today 
I'd love to see you um, put some pictures on my Instagram um, or on my Pinterest. Just save them on one of my boards so I can see what you do. Um, much love to you guys. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Take care.